Hi, welcome to another edition of Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with Socrates. Today we're going to talk about how I developed my own frog and point cutter 3D printed so I can cut my own frogs and points for a number 2Y. Or at least I think it's a number 2Y, I'm not really sure, I made it myself. But it's a diverging path from two number 4Ys, the left and the right, without the center track. So it's no more radical than a regular number 4Y, it's just that there's no straight path, there's just lefts and rights. But the problem is, the frog ends up being twice as wide as a regular number 4. The track, the turnout, is made out of three basic parts. The long stock rails, the slightly smaller diverging rails, and the two frog rails that make up the V part. There's also two small guard rails. So I use a, car, a rail cutter to cut the rails to length so they're consistent with each different turnout. And then uh, you have to file off all three of those rails each in individual ways. The frog has an angle cut into it. The points have a very, very short angle cut into it, about two degrees. And then you have to cut a little notch in on the stock rails so that the diverging rail has a place to pocket and cut into and hide. And you can see here the two this is still loose from this, but the two stock rails are on the outside. These are the two frog rails. The two diverging rails are the ones that move back and forth. And your two guard rails are the small rails in here. So I started using the fast track system. I have the fast tracks number four Y or the number four turnout and also the number six three way, which I use to make number six lefts and rights. Although at this point I'm only using the number fours because I'm building onto a two by four area and it's really small and since I'm trying to pack a lot into it I need the sharpest turns I can make and I'm only doing a shunting type layout so the sharper like the sharper curves are fine for my kind of locomotives and rolling stock but the number four uh, cutter frog and point cutter is basically what I started with but if you look inside the number four you can see that they have on one side they have the frogs and the other side they have the points the points are a lot more of a shallow angle when the frogs are all their own angle depending on the number four, six, etc. The number four basically indicates as a four to one ratio as the turnout moves from straight to the diverging rail. And since I'm doing twice as far between the two rails on, a, on my Y, I assume it's a number two, but I'm not really sure. So what I started with was basically a copy of their concept and the frogs are here on the one side on each side of the rail. The problem was these are such an extreme angle that the two frog ends they kind of bumped into each other so I couldn't set both frog rails at the same time and file one and file the other. I had to file one rail and then take the time to set the other rail and then file it and I found it to be even more fiddly than this whole process to begin with. So I thought can't I 3D print something and make it a little easier for me and hopefully at least as effective. And so I came up with putting both rails on the same side back to back. So this is one of my first examples of it where basically I lined up the two point rails on one side and the two frog rails on the other side and they line up nicely and you cut both at the same time. It was difficult with the point rails being so close to the edge and this is only 3D printed plastic so it's not nearly as strong as a piece of metal so I had to give a longer area but eventually I got it to it basically did work pretty well. And since what I was really trying to make was the frog for my specific number two Y, it was something that Fast Tracks doesn't even sell, so I really had no choice but to make it myself. And in the end, I came up with a nice little tool that holds two rails at once on both sides, so four and all, and you can cut all of your rails for a turnout in a pretty simple process. It takes a little while to get them set up just right because I'm trying to make sure it's right. But once they're in there, the filing itself is very, very quick. And of course, this is a bit sacrificial because it's just plastic. That also encourages you not to do too much and to make sure you've got it where it's done. Uh, with the metal blocks, it's harder to tell when you've gone from the metal of the rail to the metal of the block. But with this, there's a bigger difference when it goes from cutting the rails to mostly cutting the blocks. So you can really kind of feel when you've gotten to the edge of it. I've also found that with the metal blocks, I tended to make the tips too thin and I'd have to cut off a fair piece of it to get it back to strong metal which they basically encourage you to do 
But with this, I found that the, uh, the tips are pretty much just about perfect, and I've had a lot less work to do it. So I'm quite happy with these. In fact, I'll be using my own number fours, uh, my, my own created 3D printing block when I make number four turnouts instead of the metal one that I have because it's just faster because you do two rails at the same time. And I find that the results are a little bit better, actually. So I made them up for number four and the number six. I put them up on Thingiverse. It's a fairly long print because it's a fair piece of plastic. And there's number of M8 hardware. There's two M8 uh, lock, wash, lock nuts buried inside of it and a couple M8 screws on the top with some washers to help spread the load out. And I try to make sure that you have to put all the rails in. You can't just put half of them in because it really won't work so well. So put a pair of blank rails on the other side if you're only just doing frogs or just points. And uh, for the most part, I, I found it works the same as the other block. I was really quite happy with the results of it. Check it out on Thingiverse. Maybe it'll help you make your own tracks a little faster. If you're making like 80 plus turnouts, this will save you a lot of time. And you can get it on Thingiverse. If you liked it, please like it on Thingiverse. Like and subscribe to this. And uh, we'll check it out soon. Getting ready to uh, create my turnouts and getting ready to create the whole uh, time savers coming together quickly now. Finally gotten through to the major parts of it. In fact, the thing with this Y is I needed to have a double Y because, again, squeezing it into a 2x4 layout area is very, very tough space-wise. I had first come up with this basic Y, but in the end I figured how can I make it shorter and shorter. And because I'm using the stepper motor, the uh, motor sits on the one side or the other side, but if I put it to the other side, it made it a bit shorter. And in the end I was able to make a double back-to-back -back Y, which was a couple centimeters shorter than two of these which in first place replaced a couple number four turnouts. So I crushed a, a good five, eight centimeters off the, the width just by using two back-to-back -back double Ys. So I'm still actually currently creating the double Y itself. I have, have it half built, but that's the uh, tie backing for it. So it'll be quite nice, I think. It'll be a nice, strong piece. It'll all hold together quite, quite well. And uh, creating the turnout print is so much more work than creating the actual turnout jigs. The jigs aren't so bad, but creating these, this is a lot of 3D design work. And uh, I like the idea of people making some of these things. So check it out on Thingiverse. This isn't quite done yet. I'm still working on it. But the blocks are all going to go on Thingiverse, and you can pull them down yourself, download them, and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Yeah, it's still beautiful weather, although it's already getting darker. It's amazing. If you live down near the equator, you have no idea the difference between summertime and wintertime. But here, 10.30 at night, wintertime, or summertime, 4.30 at night in the wintertime, sunset. And already we're past it, headed down. So I got to get for my bike ride. Go check out the trains at the Amsterdam, the West uh, Amsterdam freight area. I like to see there's that Class 8 shunter, which I have a little one of. So thanks for watching. Gotta pretend I'm walking off this way.